Hey, welcome to Everyday Jewish Mom. My name is Marty and today I am going to teach you how to play dreidel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I am putting out videos all year long on everything you need to know to raise Jewish kids and celebrate all the holidays together. I also have a printable version of these instructions. Um, the link's in the bio below. So this is a dreidel. All dreidels have four sides. They're a four-sided top with four Hebrew letters on there and they go in specific order. This is Nun, Gimel, Hey, and Shin. It stands for the phrase Neskadol Hayasham, which means a great miracle happened there to remind us of the miracles of Hanukkah. To play dreidel, you're going to need a dreidel or maybe one for everyone. Every family plays differently. And then you need some small items to play with. Um, many people play with some version of chocolate. <laughs> These are Hanukkah gelt, but you could also do Hershey Kisses or M&Ms or something like that. Um, pennies are also a real um, popular thing to play with. And one of my favorite finds are these flat marbles. Um, you can get them in like the floral arranging section of Michael's or actually I got mine at Dollar Tree. Um, they look really beautiful as decoration as well. Take your small items and divide them evenly among everyone at the table. And then everyone is going to take one and put it into the center to create the pot. And now it's time to take turns spinning. If you get a nun, you are going to do nothing. It'll just move along to the next person. Gimel is the best. You get everything that's in the center. So scoop that, put it in your personal sash, and then everyone will take one item and put it back into the center to replenish that stash. Hey, you get half. Um, this is my favorite as a mom because it's really great to teach my kids visually what half looks like. And shin, you put one in. You keep going around and around until someone runs out and then they're out of the game. The last one standing is the winner. If you are less concerned with winning and more concerned with just playing, you can actually replenish that center um, pot from an outside source and that'll keep your game going longer. If you have any questions or if your family plays a little differently, I would love to know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on social media. I am Everyday Jewish Mom everywhere. I have a weekly newsletter that goes out and I have tons more content. Oh, and the printable version of the instructions. So much going on. <laughs> Check out all of, all of my other videos and I'll see you soon.